today is actually going to be a very exciting and special day because I am here in Maine and I am collabing with a local brewery called Mast Landing. And this is kind of a collaboration with myself, Thought Space Athletics and the brewery Mast Landing. And I'm just going to take you guys along for the process today of making the beer. I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to show yet, but this beer is going to go public and with a grand opening and tasting on December 18th, where I'll be back here in Maine doing the release for the Lazat beer, my first own beer, like seriously, this is happening and I'm super excited. So let's meet the guys and hopefully the audio works because it might be loud in the brewery, but here we go. Alright guys, I'm gonna try to do a quick voiceover and walk you through the process of making beer as simple and quick as I can. So I'm here with Weston, the production manager of Mast Landing, and it all starts with these grainy, weedy things that are different roasts, kind of like coffee, and <laughs> that's what you want to put into the giant container and break up and almost this oatmeal kind of stuff comes out of it after you extract like the juices and the sweetness from them. That, get, that all gets put over to a new tank then where it gets heated up, uh, get brought to a boil where you can start adding hops for bitterness, depending on how bitter you want your beer to be. And this is me trying straight up fresh hop, which smells amazing, but tastes extremely bitter. And right here I'm trying that juice that got extracted from the grains, which is basically sugar water, which tastes a bit weird. Those big tanks behind me is when the yeast gets added, which kind of ferments the whole thing and adds the alcohol. This takes a couple days to maybe even a couple weeks. From there, it gets cooled down and it gets carbonated. And from there, the beer is pretty much done. The beer I'm making is gonna take about three weeks and we are tasting a couple different ones here. This was a peanut butter stout with what, it was absolutely amazing. Weston showing off a fancy pour here. And from there, pretty much all that has to happen is the beer has to go into cans and labeled and shipped. So I just grabbed a can here, ice cold, as fresh as it gets. And that beer was canned about 10 seconds before I was allowed to open it and try fresh IPA. It was a West Coast IPA, super delicious. Here's the label. These machines are also fancy, packed up, ready to ship. And this is me <laughs> sniffing on a bag of hops and I love it. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Parker, who is part owner and VP of the labeling designing. <laughs> uh, brand strategy as well as uh, I, I do the label designers. Uh, I tried. Yeah. But uh, I think it's mostly because of you that I'm here. Yeah, yeah, and Aaron from uh, Thought Space as well. So you're a disc golfer too? I am. I uh, am almost too obsessed. <laughs> almost too, yeah. We all <laughs> it get kind of It tends to happen. And uh, of course, beer and disc golf mix absolutely perfectly. And I'm so stoked that we're doing this. Like this has always been a dream of mine, honestly, to do a collab with a brewery ever since I've been touring pro in the States. And I've learned more about the beer culture here. So uh, first, Thanks for making this happen. No problem. Thank you for coming. This is awesome. Exciting. And we're about to go inside the brewery with a couple putters and try a little indoor brewery trick shot edition. See what we can come up with. And then later on, we're going to go play a little round on the local course. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's go.
I'm a brewer officially. <laughs> oh wait, we need more hops. There we go. Now they're all in. All right, we are done with the brewing process for today. Somehow we made it happen in just under two hours. <laughs> and now it's time to check out a local disc golf course. We are in Scarborough, Maine, and this is a course, uh, old golf course converted into a disc golf course since 2007. And I can't believe I haven't seen this place because it looks absolutely beautiful, but cool. Yeah, super casual and just enjoying Vlogmas day one here. Beautiful day. This is Aaron from Thought Space. And he has designed, or he's helped design the Tilt logo. And everyone in Maine and around Maine knows, knows Aaron from Thought Space Athletics. And we're gonna work a lot in the future too. This is gonna be a par three. That's right there. Fun little turnover or sidearm. Look at this, new addition to the bag. Midnight Prowl. Dark dog. Look at him crush. Better than most. First time! <laughs> of Vlogmas, day one, we are doing an epic slow-mo montage. Hope you enjoy. Okay, that was fun. We're just finishing out the round now. And man, this place is absolutely beautiful. Super fun to play. And if I lived here, I would be here all the time. All right, Whew. It's a good, solid day one of Vlogmas. We made it to hole 18. Last little ace run hole. Let's do it. Thank you. <laughs> I hit 
the gap. I'm happy about that. That was nice. That's Pleasant Hill for you. That was a pretty good round, actually, in the wind. All right, everyone, Vlogmas day one. We're wrapping it up, and huge shout out and thank you to Thoughtspace Athletics. That's so hard for a non native speaker to say it, by the way. <laughs> Change that name. No, I'm kidding. I love you. Could I say TSA? I'm uh, <laughs> and Mass Landing for uh, hooking up this collaboration. I am so stoked. We like started planning this two weeks ago. And it's just it's just happening you just sometimes you just gotta do it and now it's happening and we have a release announcement on december 18th in freeport maine in the mass landing tasting room it's gonna be big and i want to see you there i'll be there at noon signing stuff we'll have shirts we'll have discs we'll of course have the beer talking about the beer here's the name the name of the beer is gonna be Cloud Pleaser. Little wordplay on Crowd Pleaser, which of course, I like to please the crowds when I got on the course. And it is a double dry hopped IPA, New England style, cloudy, hazy, fruity, juicy, all the good stuff. It's a total crowd pleaser, but also pleasing the clouds with my big hyzers and shout out to that beer. And I can't wait to try it. It's, it's my beer. It's gonna be amazing. And right here, you can also see the label design. Shout out to these two guys. It looks so <laughs> sick. And yeah, mark it in your calendars. December 18th, Freeport, Maine. I'll be there. And I want to see as many as you out there as possible to have a beer with. Any last words? Uh, we'll see you on the 18th. See you on the 18th. All right, Vlogmas Day 1. Check. See you tomorrow. Cheers. Later, guys.